Tell me. Do you miss the silence? No. Shouldn't stand in the way of progress. What are your thoughts for the future? We have to redefine the form. We've got to innovate. We've got to inspire. So, Lily, I wanted to tell you congratulations. I think you must have had a crazy morning because <laughs> I'm a part of the Critics' Choice Association, and I think your movie just got nine nominations, if I'm correct. Yes, I, I saw that briefly during my lunch break. <laughs> and then I had to put the phone away again. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to ask you then, when you, you know, when you get the call, I mean, did you think, I mean, you know, he is Damien Chazelle and everything, but did you think, oh my gosh, it's like, now I'm going to be a part of like this crazy award season. I really uh, don't, I, I haven't even thought of crazy award season. I'm still in the world of, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm in a Damien Chazelle film with some of the biggest actors in this industry and that we will go down in cinematic history as the roaring 20s a hundred years later after yet another pandemic. The great thing for you guys is that, you know, there's movies and then there's films and you guys are a part of like the cinematic film. And I just got to ask you, it's like, what was it like getting the call, like after you went through the process of just like, hey, you know what? We want you to be a part of this thing and you're going to play like this like iconic character based on anime Wong. Um, I blacked out. I, <laughs> I my, my, uh, it was, it was interesting because I was cast before um, um, COVID hit and then it it was it was weird. I didn't think I was going to hear. And then the next day, my team said, "We're going to call you at two p.m. tomorrow. Is that okay?" And I said, "Sure." So at eleven thirty a.m., I was driving on the highway, and they called me. And I thought it was about something else. And they're all just giggling and they're laughing. And they said, "You got it." And I said, "I got what?" They're like, "You got the offer for Babylon." And I said, "What?" And I blacked out. And. <laughs> And then I came to, still driving on the highway, and, <laughs> and I said, is this a joke? And they all laughed, and they said, my God, this would be such a cruel joke um, if it was, but you got it. And then, uh, you know, uh, a week later, the whole world shut down. <laughs> so before my, me, my audition with Damien, I, you know, read everything I could. I watched most of her films, uh, tried to pick up her mannerisms, her story, her history. Um, and then when we worked together, I didn't know that uh, the character wasn't Anna Mae Wong. It wasn't until after I was cast did he email me and say, this is actually a fictional character based on Anna Mae Wong. So of course I was a little bit, you know, sad at, at first, but then I was relieved of the pressure to really get it so accurately. Um, but, you know, it, it all worked out because it gave us more, cre I mean, it gave me more creative freedom. I know that Damien never intended for her to be, you know, um, uh, a biopic in any way, but um, it was it was good. We, we talked extensively for three days, like little screen test masterclass with Damien Chazelle, and we walked through how we wanted her to carry herself, how she walked, how she spoke. Um, you know, we started her off with very graceful, whispery sounds, and then we lowered her after the first day on set. You know, it's just through trial and error and finding what worked best. You had that iconic scene with Brad Pitt. Uh -huh. Like, there's just a scene, it's just you and him just in that scene, and I was like, oh my God, that is, that is just amazing for you. I was wondering how it was just being on set. It was it was great. I think, you know, I, I, I had to compartmentalize just how intimidating and how scary that really was. And I, you know, packed it up in a little box and I just shoved it to the side and just had to go on set and pretend like it wasn't Brad Pitt. <laughs>
And I'm going to bed. <laughs>